Sonos is one of you know my favorite uh, my favorite brands, but also just the, the I, I have I am a huge fan of their products. And uh, last two no, I say last year if it's not true. Two years ago, Sonos released the Arc, which is their uh, sort of pro level sound bar with uh, Dolby Atmos and all that. They recently released the Sonos Beam. Uh, now there is the Beam Gen 2, which includes Dolby Atmos support. So if, you know, for all but the largest rooms, you can now get all of that sound while still, uh, you know, not having to buy the, the you know, super, uh, super hoopty one. So this is 449 for the Beam Gen 2. Arc and the Beam look very similar. The, okay. arc, the arc is just wider by quite a bit, but they're, okay. they're both just sound bars in, in form factor. But uh, I, like, th so the Beam Gen 2 is now my go-to recommendation. I, I, I have to couch that by saying I have not tested it yet. I will, but I have not. So I can't, like, I'm going based on Sonos's track record here, but I loved the Beam. I love the Atmos sound from the Arc. And so to be able to combine those together and have the price be 449 like, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's a pretty easy recommendation to make. So it's an educated recommendation, but it is not an experiential recommendation. So, so, so stupid question time then. Yeah. What is Atmos? I'm, I've not heard of that. Ah, it is seven. It, it is one of the 7.1 sound okay. formats. So okay. you get the, what Atmos adds is a, a high and, and low channel. Okay. So really it's a high channel. And so okay. you get not just um, sound uh, on a, on a flat plane, but you get sounds coming above you and things nice. like that. And it really does it, like the way these sound bars can bounce the sound off your ceiling. Atmos works amazingly well. It's uh, similar to how they're bouncing the surround channels off of your walls. Right. They're right. bouncing the Atmos off of your ceiling, and it it's amazing how well it works.